Okay, hello, hello everybody. Um, I'm Markus Schütz, developer of Poetry, and I'd like to show you how Poetry can be used to render large amounts of point cloud data in web browsers. Here are three examples. The point cloud to the left is from the Matterhorn and consists of 90 million points. The one to the top right is from the city of Lausanne, and the one at the bottom is from a uh, coast in the United States and consists of 600 million points. And all of these point clouds were rendered in real time in the Chrome browser. Uh, Poetry is based on WebGL and FreeJS, which means that no additional plugins are required, and it should run out of the box on any system and browser that supports WebGL. Uh, I've tried it on Chrome, Firefox, and Safari, and also Internet Explorer 11, and it works on all the systems, uh, although it's a bit slow and buggy on Internet Explorer 11. Uh, it's entirely, entirely client side, which means that uh, you don't need uh, any code execution rights on the server, you don't need PHP, the server is only to store the point cloud data and everything else is done by the client. And uh, the idea behind rendering such large amounts of point cloud data is that you don't load the full point cloud at once, instead you only load uh, part of it which is visible and up to a certain le level of detail, and uh, yeah, that's usually so about one to two million points uh, at once. Um, this is an example of what it looks like when you open the viewer. At first you get a very coarse representation of the model and uh, over the next few seconds more and more points are streamed in until, until you get the final level of detail. Um, the workflow of using Poetry looks like this. Um, at first you have to convert your point cloud with the Poetry converter. Um, and the converter creates a much resolution hierarchy of the point cloud which is needed uh, to stream points inefficiently. Then you just take one of the existing examples and modify the path to use your own point cloud data. And the last step is just uh, to load everything on a web server and that's it. Some of the features of Poetry are different materials, for example, uh, the point cloud color itself or intensity, classification, and point source ID, ID. then different point rendering modes and um, Everything is based on FreeJS, which means that you can also do everything that FreeJS itself can do, like rendering polygons and doing lighting and shadowing. Um, yeah, and georeferencing is possible as well. Uh, here are some screenshots of the features, for example, different materials, point rendering qualities, usually available in any point cloud features are squares and circles, but uh, Poetry also has interpolation and splats. With interpolation, um, if you have multiple points that overlap each other, which happens if you have uh, a higher point size, then not only the nearest points are rendered, instead uh, one of the points are chosen uh, with a kind of like nearest neighbor interpolation. And this consider considerably improves um, readability of fine details like text and point clouds. And splats is very similar, uh, except that it does not choose one of the points and uh, it blends all overlapping points together. Uh, there are also some measurements tools, for example, distance measurements and page profiles. And georeferencing po is possible as well. Here, for example, um, is a point cloud, a georeferenced point cloud, and at the bottom right is OpenStreetMap, showing the extent of the point cloud and also the current camera position and direction. And the screenshots to the right uh, uh, show an example I'm currently working on where I use open layers to uh, load map data and project the map data onto the point cloud. Yeah, some background information. Um, Poetry started, as a, uh, everything started on the Vienna University of Technology. They developed a um, uh, scanner D, a desktop point cloud viewer, which could display large amounts of point cloud data and also edit them. And the idea of Poetry was to do the same for web browsers. And the open source code is now open source and freely available on GitHub. And currently I'm continuing to work on it as a master thesis project on the Vienna University of Technology together with the, with the Harvest 4D project. And yeah, I want to show you some components that already use Poetry. Um, not all of them are public, some are only for internal use, but I've got some screenshots. This, for example, is from Nor Consult, uh, which used Poetry to display some church in the place around it. And they've also added um, automatic camera fly, fly, fly through by creating a spline and letting the camera move along the spline 
And this is a good example of what you can, as a, of the advantages of using free jazz, because um, there are hundreds of examples and tutorials of free jazz. So if you need to add custom functionality, you can just use uh, one of those examples. This is from Antio, an Italian company, which added poetry uh, into the REST uh, interface to display point clouds of surveys of power plants or oil plants. This is from a Japanese surveyor, Anan. Um, I don't know much about them because everything's Jap Japanese, but um, they've also got some point clouds that are, that are publicly available on the screen. This is from ICGC. This is not publicly available yet, but hopefully by tomorrow or uh, in the next few days. And yeah, this is from Treepoint. They are currently uh, developing a LiDAR platform, an online LiDAR platform, and they want to use Poetry to display the point cloud data in web browsers. And this is from Geo Republic. They use Poetry uh, also to, um, as a, to add a functionality to display point clouds in their web interface, in this case for of Japanese highways. So um, now I'm going to show you so, some live examples. This is the Matterhorn now. Consists of 90 million points and rendered in real time in Firefox. And if you zoom in closer, you can see that more details are loaded over time. And for weaker machines, you can also uh, set a lower point limit. Right now, the limit is uh, 1 million points, and you can lower this for weaker machines like uh, mobile phones or tablets. I've recently tried it on a new smartphone, which actually displayed this faster than this five-year-old notebook here. And yeah, there are there's the distance measurement. The height profile and so on. Okay, and yeah, this is the example of using a point cloud and maps to project them onto the point cloud. Here, for example, a Bing map and here an open street map. And this is loaded uh, online, so for example, if you move this here, you can see it also moves on the point cloud. Okay. Yeah, thanks, that's it. And if you're interested in poetry, um, write me an email, and if you put something online, uh, yeah, please send me a link. Thank you. Probably, yes. I've used open layers with um, Bing and uh, OpenStreetMap here, and that worked, and probably any other layer will do. Because the open layers, uh, I'm using open layers 3, and open layers 3 renders into a canvas element, um, simply, and I'm simply using the canvas element as a text uh, for the point cloud. So any layer should do. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you.